Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Christine with a K. And it's been a while since I've done a video and I just decided uh, to do this impromptu video. Have you ever had a really stressful situation and then you get on the other side of it and you're just like, okay, now I have to uh, catch up from everything that I missed from the, while you were occupied with the crisis? That's me. <laughs> Um, one big huge lesson that I, I learned last month is you have to pay attention to side effects, reactions to medications, especially pain medications. Um, it turns out my dad was on three different pain meds and um, the intention was absolutely good and things were kind of spread out, um, but he was still on three at the same time. And the one was a patch, which apparently was extremely, extremely strong. And I had read the side effects and, you know, and potential reactions, and I was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because a lot of it was the same reactions that you see to all medications, so I didn't really pay much attention to it. And it turns out as this medicine builds up in your system, at least in my dad's case, it caused some very serious reactions, um, hallucinations, delusions. He had no color whatsoever in his face or in the rest of his body. Um, he was having trouble sleeping. It was bad. It was really bad. And thank, thank goodness for Fox Chase Cancer Center. That's where my dad is getting his treatment because I contacted the oncologist and I said, can I remove this pain patch? Like if I just take it off, is anything like bad gonna happen? And cause we had touched base with the primary care doctor, a nurse practitioner actually. And she said that since the patch is the newest thing, try and take that off and let's see if that's it. And it turns out that was the culprit. Um, but the oncologist, oh my goodness, they have what they call a DRU, a direct referral unit, which is their version of an urgent care. So the specialist calls down there and says, I'm sending over my patient to you. Uh, you know, and it's basically like a triage. Assess them, what's going on? Like, do they need to be admitted or is it something that could be taken care of, you know, as outpatient? And uh, the doctor we had in there was so amazing. The nurses were fantastic. Um, the assistance that they provided, we left there with a walker for my dad because his balance was really off. Um, they arranged for some other equipment to be sent to the house. They set us up with home health care with a home nurse and home PT, um, which has been wonderful. The nurse comes like once a week and uh, PT comes twice a week. And it's great to have two more sets of eyes on them when we're not with them. Um, and it's just helped them so much. And so now on the other side of it, I look at things a little bit clearer. Pay attention to side effects and reactions. And if your loved one's behavior is changing, then you need to call a doctor. You need to call the doctor and say, I'm concerned. And if something new has just been added, say, can we cut back on this to see if that make, makes a difference? Um, yeah, so that's what I'm coming out of on the other side. Finally starting to breathe a little bit again. So pay attention to those side effects and, rea and potential side effects and reactions. Um, I'm not saying obsess over them, don't, but just keep them in the back of your mind. And if something starts to feel wonky, if it's like an oral medication, then see if you could just skip a dose and see how that goes. But always, always, always consult your medical professional. Always, always, always contact your doctor um, for the best way to handle those situations, okay? Um, because uh, some medications, if you stop taking it suddenly, you can have even worse outcomes and you certainly don't want to make a situation worse. So always, always, always talk to your doctor, but 
yeah so now I'm gonna catch up with some things that happened last month that I need to prepare for a meeting for this month and um, clear my head some more <laughs> okay well that's it for now friends sometimes you just have days like this right yep, that's the way it goes all right well TTFN, ta-ta for now.